Fast, accurate, and every day. First Defense Weather. Well, a happy Thursday to you. And that rain that we had has finally exited the area. But some of us, or most of us, got a downpour with those showers over the past 48 hours. Ishwe, which is in the northeastern quadrant of Cattaraugus County, pretty much near Delavan, uh, had 2.10 inches worth of rainfall over the past two days. These are 48 hour rainfall totals, not 24, but over the past two days, Olean more than a half an inch or more than one and three quarters inches, more than a half an inch here in Jamestown, Salamanca, a uh, little more than about to one and a quarter, Falconer about one and a quarter there as well, and Mayville a little more than three, uh, three quarters of an inch uh, worth of rainfall. So the rain has moved out to the east. Our friends near Rochester are now dealing with that, and they're going to be dealing with that throughout the day, and then that'll move up and toward uh, Lake Ontario on the tug. Hill region. Now, future scan being, I believe, a little too optimistic with the cloud breaks today. There will be some, but I don't think this much. So do expect partly sunny skies through the afternoon. There could be an isolated shower across the inland areas today, but again, the majority of the afternoon should be dry. And look at what develops right here. This is lake effect rain showers. I scared you for a second, didn't I? But yes, it is not uncommon this time of the year for Lake Erie to generate its own rain showers. And basically, lake effect snow and lake effect rain are the exact same thing minus the precipitation that falls. And uh, because the air in the upper layers is still too warm, that ultimately means it's going to fall as rain. If it was cooler, it would be snow but we're not worrying about that right now. But uh, we will see some lake effect uh, rain showers developing overnight, mainly near the Lake Erie shoreline, then moving inland by Friday morning. Best chance for that rain tomorrow is going to be in the morning. Then it turns partly sunny for the afternoon hours on Friday. And then by the time we go into Saturday, we will see another chance for more widespread rain showers, but nothing really heavy as of right now. Jamestown Rebels first home game is uh, tomorrow as well. So as you go to the game, nothing going on. Pretty much it should be mainly dry, partly sunny uh, skies around 60 degrees and then by the time the game ends as you're exiting uh, the uh, Northwest Arena around 52 degrees mostly clear skies should do it here in downtown Jamestown for the Rebels first home game 57 to 64 today temperatures not budging much uh, from where they bottomed out this morning temperatures the uh, rain showers continue to end mostly cloudy with some sun peaks and still a healthy south breeze 45 to 57 a chilly night with scattered early lake effect rain showers tapering overnight a lake effect rain shower in the morning on Friday then turns partly sunny 63 a pair of sixes on Saturday Saturday rain develops in the afternoon, continues through at least parts of the day on Sunday, 65. Monday should be a dry day, comfortable with highs around 70. And then we'll be hovering around that 70 degree mark for the next couple of days. And it looks like we should hit it by next Wednesday.